started and entered the swamps. Hmm? Yeah, I did say sided. <laughs> he sighed and entered the swamps. Yes, hello, Tony Travitt. This is a game. What is it, Joe? What's the... Uh, the game is Lionheart. I've just been informed by Joe. Oh, no, sorry. Doc Farrod actually told me that, as he is all-knowing. Jumping along here. Looks very, um... Shadow of the Beastie from this, you know, close range. Destroy a dragon. Up, up some trees. Now back down again. <laughs> right, down the rope. Now this is a difficult section of the game. What would happen if you were to drop into that water down below? So I've just had word that if you drop into the water, you die. Eddie McCann just told me that, and he's actually had a look at the course earlier on, and he's, um, you know, sided a few difficulties that the uh, combatants might have. You know, there's a bit of soggy ground near the third sector, but I doubt if we'll see any anywhere near that far today. Yeah, Joe, Joe has been um, putting sand in the area, so should be up better. Yeah, it's across the spikes. Oh, there's a danger. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, yes. Yes, and here we come. We are up. Oh, yes. This has actually got not a bad game, but it looks a little bit uh, shit house. It's a brilliant game, I've just been told by uh, James McCann. Is it? Eddie McCann, yeah. There's a few new boys in the commentary team. Eddie McCann and, uh, and Brian Locke. Of course, brother of um, Vernon Locke, you know, cookie from country practice. And who else is a new one? Peter Peter Backley is a uh, new member of the commentary. Don't know who he actually is because you know, I think it could be a second character for David Shortbush. And there's also another character. All right. Yes, and there's another character called James Sabbath. Oh, it, not James Sabbath, it's actually a um, alter ego of James Sabbath, and it's Dr. Farrod. He exits the swamps and into the ruins of the city. Oh. He's still in the swamp, I've had been misinformed. I guess I should be here instead of 15,000 kilometres away in a different country. I've just been told by Joe that he's fighting a spider. <laughs> Those baby spiders do play havoc, you know. I've been told by Jeff that um, they're pretty bad down there. And they often, um, you know, try and eat ya. So if you're not careful, you could be overrun by a, a violent pack of them. Yes, and there we are down there. Oh, yes, he's been hit by a spider. That tickles. I mean, it doesn't tickle. He's got him down from the roof. Mm. And um, apparently those spiders are quite deadly, you know. Their venom is um, sort of a little bit like hydrochloric acid, but a lot more deadly than that would be. It's sort of an acidy, sort of a sulfury, phosphorusy, sort of a uh, gypsony sort of thing. And I'll cross you now to Dr. Farad, um, up on the couch next to me. Yes, Dr. Farad here, the 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 scientific and statistical organizer of Tony Trevor Productions, and we are now traversing to the swamp in. Lionheart. And yes, and yes, the symbol in the top left corner indicates disc access, so we must. No, we don't have to wait anymore. Yes, we do. Oh, yes. What's his name? Did that beautifully. And 
It's, just, it's obviously a very windy day down there in um in the pool for the clouds are moving across at a very very rapid rate. It looks pretty good actually. Yeah. Well, anyway, I hate the way that stupid. I hate the way that stupid bitch runs, but it looks pretty fucked. Oh, is it a boy? I've just been informed that that. Oh, it's a werewolf. Okay. Um. He's got a lion heart. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I feel like to cross you over the David Short Bush now. Well, he'll talk about lion heart. And and this guy. Lots of fine action. I don't be outside. Grab that through the game. Oh, hey. Ah, thank you. Whoever your name was. And. Peter Sellers, was it? Oh. <laughs> 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 it's a minky. <laughs> 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 and yes, we'll, we shall get an interpreter to um, figure out what his name is at a later date, but for now, we'll just call him the... Him. Yes. What did they do? Yeah. Yeah. What was that about? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I just put that chubbed in my mouth. And yes, those... Those spikes are actually manipulated by... I don't know what by, but who really cares anyway? <laughs> um, anyway... This is a pretty boring game to commentate to, come to think of it. There's not much you can say about it. Yes. Well, we have the typical Aryan um, um, stereotype running along here with his long blonde hair and... Yeah, typical Aryan, Aryan werewolf with his long blonde hair and red eyes, and <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, anyway, what was that thing you just shut up there? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Thank you, Don Watts. Yeah, um, yes, Don Watts has been um, doing some training for, and he's now our official special effects organizer. And that was brought to you courtesy of him. Personal show, the name that you can trust. Ah, uh, come on, put something else on. Yes, Marcus Winston, the 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 Hungarian playboy, shall now be talking with us, Marcus. Ooh. Tell us your views. I have none. Yes, I assume that, but just tell us them anyway. No. Hey, Marcus, his microphone doesn't stretch right across the room, so... I'm down on the sidelines, and I'm about to cross to Ivan. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Ivan, uh... The man... Ivan's playing it, um... But uh, down, down alongside him, uh... On the sidelines, I believe we have Eddie Mc... McCann, and uh, here's his views about how the guy's going. Yeah, I'm pretty going pretty good at the moment, Rich. I'm only on one heart though. Make it three hearts now. Oh, what am I doing? There's a life up here, um, but there's a lot of birds, and they come and get you. There it is. Now run them back. I'll get that bird.